Hi everyone, this is Connie, and this is my channel, and you are totally welcome here. If you are new, please think about hitting that subscribe button, and if you're returning, welcome back. This is a really fun challenge that I'm taking part in today. It's all about bees, and I love bees. So let's get right into this first project. This is an old screen for my house, and I went ahead and I cut some bee wings out of it. And then I took the football wreath from the Dollar Tree, and I used, I was going to use that baling wire, but it was too stiff, so I decided to use just paddle wire. And I'm just going to weave around it and connect these wings onto this football. And I'm just kind of straightening out that wire because I really have to tug on it and pull on it. And I didn't want to do too much damage to the screen because if you pull on screen too much, it will mess up the squares. So I'm just, I start at the center and that way I work out to the outside and then I work out to the other outside. Now I used a Sharpie uh, marker and I marked where the um, the football would sit so that I could make sure I kept it on there. And I got that all done. Then I cut out this circle from just um, foam board from the Dollar Tree because this is going to be the head. And I painted it black, sat it to the side, grabbed this black, uh, yeah, burlap. And I am just covering this football. I go down the center and I kind of um, cut the or fold the end there to make a point like the honeybees point a uh, little bee stinger. And then I take it to the top and I just hook it underneath. And now I'm going on um, the right side and then I'll go on to the left side. Now I'm gluing it and then I'm going to trim it around the base because we're going to do something to hide that rugged edge so it won't be any problem but i'm cutting it before i glue it down so just so or actually i'm gluing it down and then i'm going to cut it to make sure i get it pretty close to where it needed to be and i end up doing both sides so that is done and i'm just kind of gluing anywhere that's you know messy and then i'm taking another piece of the burlap and i'm going to cover with um, Mod Podge over that black circle. Now I'm going to put the Mod Podge down first, and then I'm going to put the Mod Podge down on top of it to really get that um, secure bond, and that way it will make it nice and stiff, which I want. Sat that aside to dry, grabbing some ribbon, some yellow ribbon. It has little white uh, lines in it, which is okay, and I taking it across the bee body. So I'm just making like folding the ends and gluing it down. And I'm going to do that um, in stripes because bees are black with yellow stripes or yellow with black stripes, but I chose black with yellow. So I just got those all finished and I left the end black because you want that. And now I'm going around with this brown nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And that's how I'm hiding all those rough edges of the screen as well as around that football. And I'm just going gluing it around. I do both sides and then I go around the, um, the, uh, the, yeah, the body just from the, um, around. I'm not going to go around the very end, I don't think, where that black tip is. We'll see. No, I don't. I think I quit. I end it right there. And I'm used a lighter to get, the, you know, to seal the ends. And now I'm taking two pieces of baling wire because I want this to be stiff and two black beads. And I'm hooking the beads on the end of the um, wire and to make it look like the bee antennas. So you'll see that as I'm, I'm working on it. And this is really strong. This is baling wire. It literally is the wire they wrap around bales of hay. So this is really strong. And I end up getting those two. And now I am trimming off 
the um, excess of the burlap and I'm just sticking those um, antennas right down into that foam using a little bit of hot glue so it doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to um, go around the um, head with this rope as well just so that it looks like it's actually the same and not animal same insect bug a bee let's just say it's the same bee so I just went around and I um, glued that all on there and now I'm going to glue it to the body and then I'm going to embellish it this um, little bee Except for this bee is not little. It's big. So I grabbed some um, ribbon. This is from Sam's. It's a black and white checker. I'm also going to be using some of the black burlap. Putting it in a loop. Gluing it. Doing the same thing. I also got some bright yellow with white dots from Sam's Club. Making the same kind of loops as the... Um, the burlap and I'm going to do the black and white um, checkered uh, ribbon as well and then I'm going to make a bow so once I um, oh and this is a little bur uh, uh, honeycomb ribbon from the Dollar Tree and so I'm just making this uh, uh, bow I glued the, the burlap and I've got a clamp on it and as you see, I'm, I'm just layering these and then I am tying them with a little bit of that paddle wire to make this cute bow. Now this is going to go on that B and then I'm going to embellish it right there on the side. I didn't want to put it like on the neck, up on the neck because I didn't want it to cover the head. So I just kind of put it on the side and then I grabbed some uh, pieces of floral from... Uh, the Dollar Tree, some's from the Dollar Tree, some's just, I'm, I've just picked up in different places, and this is just kind of like scraps, so I am just going to put uh, them all on here, and then this B, I'm not going to say little, will be finished. I'm putting a little hanger on it, and this B is done. I hope you guys think it beautiful and extremely cute. So, this is it. It's cute. All right. For the information on this challenge, this is the Unbeworthable DIY Challenge. The hosts are C from CJ DIY, Christine from DIY Craftaholic, and Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Their links are going to be down in the descri description box as well as the playlist will be down there as well. So let's get right into this next project. Okay, so the next one, everyone was thinking the bee was going to be the wreath, but no, I'm actually going to make a wreath as well. So I am looking at all of the um, ribbons I've got, the white Chanel stems, going to cut these in half and then I've got white and black deco mesh and I'm hooking the Chanel stems a bunch of them on you know each section and I'm using the two black and the white and I'm going to be layering them black black white and then I am going to hook one end to that first section and then I'm going to use my measuring uh, thing um, and I'm measuring it out eight inches between each one and then hooking this on. And this is the what it ends up looking like. Beautiful. Now I'm taking this ribbon. Now this little one here is from um, the Dollar Tree. It's that honeycomb. I'm cutting out eight of these at eight inches. And this one is, okay, so four of them is from Amazon and then the polka dot and the check is from Sam's and so is the um, the uh, Buffalo check honey comes from Dollar Tree so I'm getting these all done what I'm gonna do is make bows out of them like messy bows and I dovetailed the ends so the one I had done prior this one the yellow and black stripes and the yellow and the black dots are the ones from um, 
uh, Amazon that I had ordered. These are really cute, really high quality um, ribbons. So is the ones from the Sam's Club. I absolutely love those. So once I get these all done, you can see I am just layering them. Now I don't layer them every bow the same. And then I just pinch it in the center, use those yellow uh, Chanel stems or pipe cleaners, however you want to call it, and hook them all together. Now I am hooking these on the, uh, the wreath. Now that first one was too tight. The second one was almost too tight. I go back later and I loosen them up because they are just too, they're like pulled down too far. I want them to be sitting like up on top. And here's it with all of these bows. And then we're going to do make some embellishments for these bows. So, or for the wreath. So here we go. I'm just going to finish. This is, I'm loosening up those ones, kind of fixing it. Then I'm going to sit it off the side. This is the eggs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm sticking them on skewers. And I'm not sure how many I made. We'll have to wait. Two, four, six, seven is all I make. Now I took a bright yellow from uh, Apple Barrel and I am I painted them all yellow. Put them to dry. Grab that black burlap and I'm cutting wings, bees' wings. Now they're not perfect yet. I'm gonna actually put them on and then I will trim them up. But I make seven of those. And now I'm using uh, just black thread and a needle, and I am sewing these in the center to scrunch them because I don't want to have to try and glue them. So I'm just, scrunch, you know, sewing it together, setting it aside. And like I said, I told you, um, once I get them on the, the beads, I'll trim them. Now I'm taking black apple barrel paint, and I am painting the bees' lines on these eggs. Eggs is a perfect uh, shape for a bee's body. So I'm just getting these all done. Then I will set them aside again. They dry kind of quite fast, but I think, I'm not sure what I do next. But I do have to make antennas for these as well. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm grabbing these black beads, um, smaller than the other beads, and I am going to put them on the baling wire again because I want them to be really stiff. And so I'm just getting them all uh, ready to go on these bees. So here I am just sticking the wire in. And I folded it in half and then stuck a hole, glued it in there. And then once it, the glue dries, I will pull them apart and then I will put the... Um, the uh yeah beads on the ends and then i will i'm going to circle like twist the ends and then i will glue it on so that it stays at the end and i will turn it like bend it the wire you'll see what i end up doing because i i end up making eight of these and like i said i those a lot of those uh wings are just kind of too big so you'll see what i end up doing with these and it's kind of weird I the first one I glued on I glued on the body down first which is what it should be but you really couldn't see how cute the bees were so I pulled it off and I turned them all over so they're kind of flying up upside down or flying under the wreath instead of on yeah whatever so here I am I am uh, getting these all on here um, I'm twist putting the like I said, I'm putting the, the, actually these, actually I was wrong. These beads are for the heads. I'm not going to put beads on the ends of the wires. I'm just going to put, sort like put spiral them so that you can see that they're, uh, they're beads. Cause I forgot I needed the heads. I forgot I'd done that. Whew. And I only did this a couple of days ago. I'm glad I watched it. <laughs> okay. So here I am. I'm spreading those, uh, out and I'm using my needle nose pliers and just spiraling the wire on the ends and they are turning out to be the cutest little bees then I'm gluing the wings on and as you can see I'm trimming them so that they actually fit those little bees we want them to be 
perfectly sized right. Or at least not perfectly. Let's just say sized at least close to what they should be on a beat. So here I am just getting this, um, the last ones done. And I'm just going to glue them right on there. And they just, they're the cutest little bees. I just love them. I love bees. In fact, I won't show it on this video, but I have a lot of bee decor from two years ago. And I'm going to put them all on a vignette together just so that I have all my bee inspired um, stuff together. But I just love this. So here I am. I Now this is a big bee that I bought a long time ago from Hobby Lobby. And I'm hooking that on. It's bigger than the others. It's a different. It's got gold on it and shiny. And then now, see, I put that bee on wrong. And then I realize, oh, I don't like that. And so I end up pulling it back off before the glue has a chance to dry. And, I, and I'm not sure how, why, but I did end up getting that pulled back off. And here's the res end result. I also put these, okay, I made these little uh, honey dippers. I have four of them. They're from Woodpecker Crafts and I'm using antique wax. No, two of the sets or one set of the two goes on that wreath and then one set goes on the next project. And I don't know if I show you putting them on this set on the wreath, but I'm just using the antique wax and then I'm using some little tiny thin like eighth inch black silk ribbon and I'm going to tie it around glue them tied around and then I am going to make a bow and that's what it's going to look like in fact both sets end up looking like that so I don't show you make me making it twice but here I am just getting that bow I was fumbling a little bit my hands give me some issues but hey I got it done and it looks as cute as it can be so I'm going to sit that aside and now I grabbed um I bought these three pots from the Dollar Tree, and I just need one. I'm using my hot glue, glue, glue gun, and I'm pushing it through the bottom to make a hole. And then I'm using uh, some burlap, and um, I am going to feed it through the hole, and then I'm going to tie a knot. Now, I think I could have done it easier. I pulled, but I, I was able to get it done, so no big deal. But I pull it through, and then that's a hard thing to do is to tie it. I should have pulled it a lot further because I could have, but I didn't. Whatever. It's done. So once I get that done, then I take that um, same rope, and I start just gluing it around. We're making a bee skeep. A bee skeep. So I'm just going to go around and around, as you can see, all the way up to the top to meet that loop. And then that is part is going to be done once I get that done. Then I'm going to grab a small piece of, see that small piece of uh, rope there? I'm going to make a circle because we want an entrance to the bee. Now the only thing I made probably a mistake is I put it too close to the bottom, but it turns out cute anyway. No big deal. I'm just gluing that on and then I'm going to grab some black paint and I'm going to paint the center of the uh the beat that circle for the entrance and then that is going to be finished and then i gotta make some more bees we just got bees all over the place now these bees are tiny little little itty bitty bees now you can see now I'm putting the dipper on there. Now you can see the bees. I thought I showed you how to make them. But I made them out of little eggs. Little tiny eggs and little tiny beets. So then this is the second project or the last project. This is from the Dollar Tree. I'm painting this with sheepskin from Waverly. And I'm, I end up doing two coats on this. It's kind of quite thick. I put some water in to help it. I'll have to keep doing that to get it all finished. And now I'm taking a blue, or not blue, black from Apple Barrel, and I am painting the frame. And I had to get a really small 
paintbrush to do that inside so that I didn't get it on my sheepskin. And I didn't. I was, I was very proud of myself. Okay, so once that is done, then I'm going to take a, a chippy brush and antiquing wax, and I'm going to dry brush that antique wax on this to make it look more like wood slats. And then I cut out this little design for, uh, from my Cricut, and this is um, Oracle 651 vinyl, and I am just going to weed this. I love weeding. Once I found my groove, um, I just absolutely love to um, weed, unless it's really super tiny, and then I have a hard time, but hey, we'll get there. But as you can see, this is starting to reveal what this is. Um, I saw this on Pinterest and got the idea. Of course, I did not copy it exactly because it's different. But I, um, it's sort of the same design. So that is a B. And then it says, let it B. So I'm just going to weed out of the L and the E, and then I'm going to weed that B. And then the transfer tape that I'm going to use is from Duck Brand, and it's a peel and stick. It's not super, super, super sticky, but I do put it on my pants and defuzz it a little bit so that I don't have any issues. And I don't, I never have issues with this, um, pulling up paint, pulling up, you know, nothing, nothing like that, or not coming apart, you know, from the vinyl, which I've had issues with that in the past. Now, I thought maybe I should paint underneath this area in the center um, with yellow, but you know what? I really like the way it looks, so that I just left it this way. So here I am. I'm just going to get this all ready. And I'm just kind of sizing it up to look at it, to see where I need, wanted it. And then I'm going to get the um, peel and stick and get it ready. This is a brand new piece I haven't used before, so I do have to defuzz it. it takes like a second or two. And then we are going to put that right down on that vinyl. And then we're going to lift that vinyl off. Now, it was not very difficult to get off of there at all. And I just use my burnishing tool just to really get it on there. There's always some areas that you need to continue burnishing just because it's not sticked all the way or stuck all the way, not sticked. And so I'm just pulling that up and then I'm going to lay this. I'm going to center it and I'm going to lay this right down. Use that burnishing tool. I'm going to pull up that transfer tape don't have many issues, a little few, but not many. And then this project is almost done. Now I've it's already got the loop on it. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I already put the loop on it because the loop was on the side. And then I'm just going to grab some uh, Mod Podge and I'm going to cover the whole entire piece so that that uh, vinyl doesn't lift up and we want it to be shiny. And I also do the the frame because I want it to shine as well. So this project is almost done. I hope you guys love this. Like I said, don't forget to check out the playlist. That link is going to be in the description box with the hosts. You can go check out all of the creators. I just love this. I hope you guys absolutely love my videos, my uh, projects as well as everybody else's so I'm just getting this on here and getting it all completely covered and then you're going to see the reveal of these four projects and I just think they're absolutely stinking beautiful so and I hope you guys love them as well so we're just getting this finished up and then we're going to move on to the reveal and this is the end. Everything's been done. I'm just checking to make sure no spots were left. And look at how cute that is. Oh, it's just beautifully. Be yes, bees, bees, bees. So, hope you guys have the most blessed week as well as a blessed day. And also, don't forget to call somebody and tell them you love them today. It might be exactly what they need to hear. 
you would be surprised what that will do in somebody's life just hearing those words and i hope you guys love everything and don't forget to be the bible that somebody reads today bye